Christ is risen. Truly is risen. I'm going to get my chair. Children can come a little forward. That would be great. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Christ is risen. So this morning, in our Gospel reading, we, we had this conversation that Jesus had with the woman of Samaria. Her name is Fotini. And, and they had this conversation, and they were talking about water and being thirsty. Have you ever been thirsty before? Have you ever just been really, really thirsty? Can you kind of explain that? What is thirst? What does that mean when you're thirsty? Now there's probably some adults in the room with you. Why don't you tell them what does that mean? And I'll listen for, uh, I'll listen, see if I can hear some of your answers. Yeah, maybe your mouth is a little dry. Okay, you just really think you need some something to drink. All right. So now what's the best thing to do? What's the best thing to drink? What's the best thing to do if we're really, really thirsty? You can go and get some what? Okay, I think I heard someone say water. Did you say water? I heard water there. Maybe milk. Yeah, if you're really thirsty, you can drink, you can drink some milk. Juice, that's true too. If you're really, Gatorade, yeah, that's true too. Gatorade, there's some drinks that are, they make them to help people when they're especially thirsty. Now, what about if you're really, really thirsty, would you get some crackers? Would you eat crackers if you were really, really thirsty? How about, I know, if you're really thirsty, the, the way to make yourself feel better, what do you think of this? Get a big spoon of peanut butter. A big spoon, you're so thirsty, so you get a, a big spoon of peanut butter and eat the peanut butter. Do you think that would help if you were thirsty? No? How about a tablespoon of salt? If you were really thirsty, would you take a tablespoon of salt? No, you're right, you wouldn't. I would stick with water, milk, or juice, something like that. That would be something that would help if you were thirsty. In fact, those other things that I suggested, I didn't really suggest, I was just throwing them out there. Those other things like peanut butter, or crackers, or salt, they wouldn't help you not be thirsty anymore. They would they would make you maybe even thirstier. And even, they could even make you sick if you were so thirsty and you just kept eating that and didn't have any water. That could even make you sick. So that's a little bit what the woman was talking about because she was thirsty and she would go to the well and get water to drink. Now Jesus was talking about a different type of thirst. Our hearts, our minds, our souls can be thirsty too. When our hearts, minds, and souls are thirsty, they are thirsty for God's love in our life. That's what our hearts, our minds, and our souls are thirsty for. And that's what Jesus was talking about to the woman. She was talking about needing some water because her body was thirsty, her mouth, her throat was dry, but Jesus was talking about what happens when our mind, our heart, and our souls are thirsty. When our minds, hearts, and souls are thirsty, then we are very unhappy, like this woman. She was thirsty for water, but she was also thirsty for something else because, because her mind, her heart, and her soul, they were unhappy. 
And Jesus knew she was unhappy. He started telling her all about her life and about her difficult things going on in her life. And he knew that she was thirsty for God's love. And he told her, if you listen to me and you listen to my teachings, you won't be thirsty anymore. My teachings, being close to me, Jesus said, will help you to help your mind, your heart, and your soul never to be thirsty again because you'll be filled with God's love. And he called this eternal or living water, not just regular water, but the special thirst-quenching living water that comes when we get close to Jesus and listen to his teachings. So she did that. She did exactly that. She was listening to his teachings and she started feeling better. She was starting to be healed of all her past sadness. And, and she felt so happy, she ran back to town to tell all the people in town that she met Jesus, the Messiah, and that he can help heal the thirst of our souls, our minds, and, and our hearts, that he's going to heal us of these things when we stay close to him. And this, you know, is true for us too. Not only Fotini, the Samaritan woman, but Jesus can give all of us. He can quench our thirst. He can make us so our souls, minds, and hearts aren't thirsty anymore because we have Jesus so close to us when we listen to him, when we stay close to him. So that's what we have to do. We have to learn what Jesus is teaching us. We have to stay close to him. We have to stay close to him with prayer. We have to read the scriptures. All these things help us to stay close to Jesus, to learn from him like the Samaritan woman, Fotini, did today, so that our spiritual thirst won't be thirsty anymore because when we have the right things to quench our thirst, then it makes us feel better. When we have the wrong things, then it makes us feel worse. And that's what this woman was doing. Her soul, her heart, her mind were thirsty, but she was, she was taking the wrong things. It was like she was going after peanut butter and salt instead of water. So when our souls, hearts, and minds are thirsty, we need to ask Jesus to be close to us, we need to be close to him. We need to pray to him. And we need to know that he loves us and fills us with everything we need. Let me say a prayer. We're going to stand up together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, watch over our children and over all our community. We pray, Lord, that you give us a desire to seek you when our hearts, minds, and souls are sad because we are thirsty for you. Help us to fill it with our relationship to you, Lord, and not seek the wrong things that don't make our thirst go away, but make us sadder and more miserable. Watch over our children, always give them wisdom to seek the correct things. For you are the giver of good things, who we give you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen.